Welcome back. It's that time of year again. Kids are headed back to school and the parents, well, they're having to pony up more money to pay for school supplies. We're talking hundreds of dollars for some families in the Pikes Peak region, and it can be a struggle. Tonight, News News5's Katie Blaze watching out for your wallet. And families say it's just getting more expensive, Katie. Yeah, Robin Elizabeth, just like anything, there's inflation with school supplies. But parents also tell me there's now additional fees for things like iPads. And the list of items assigned to students, well, it's become pretty lengthy. Gone are the days of simply buying a few notebooks, pencils, and a backpack for school. It's a large industry. The, uh, the school supply industry in 2017 added up to about 30 billion dollars. Tatiana Bailey is an economist, but she's also a parent with kids in School District 20. Turns out to be a, a little bit of a dent in the budget. Fellow parent Christine Garofalo, who also has kids in D20, feels the same way. I get a little apprehensive as I'm trying to think about, you know, my budget and what I might need to give this time of the year in order to get those supplies and to make sure that the kids are already prepared. For Garofalo, it's about $100 each year per child, but that doesn't include the iPad fee for her kids, which is about $50 as well. And the beginning of the year isn't the only time she has to pay for supplies. The teacher will email us, you know, what additional supplies are needed throughout the year. It's a different story in other districts. Thankfully this year, we just have to pay a uh, flat fee and just buy a backpack and a binder. That comes to about 30 bucks for Bryn Stroop, a parent in the Harrison School District, and she knows it's a struggle for some people. There's a lot of families that don't have the ability to choose school supplies over, say, school clothes or shoes or food. It's why she started the group Colorado Springs Helping Neighbors, reaching out to the community to gather donated school supplies. At this year's giveaway, 115 full backpacks. There was like maybe 20 other people, but they just needed some of the supplies. The upside, over 100 families helped. The downside, that that number will most likely increase alongside the rising costs for school supplies. And if you need help paying for school supplies, consider contacting groups like Colorado Springs Helping Neighbors via Facebook. Also, reach out to your school to find out how it can help. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Katie Blaze, News 5. Here's